Hey guys and welcome to another motivational cleaning video. We are going to be rearranging some furniture in my house, decluttering, cleaning, taking care of really big problem areas in my home. I was not feeling too good this week. I am pregnant and I was just not feeling my best so things got totally out of hand and I had to get it back in order. It was driving me crazy. Luckily I have my sweet family to help me out. Really quickly, I wanted to mention that this is a collab with my friend Katie. She has a beautiful home. Her decorations are seriously goals, guys. I love them and obsessed with it. She has a very similar style to me. She is decluttering, cleaning, doing all kinds of stuff in her video. So definitely go check out her video down below. It'll be linked as well as her channel and go give her some love. So first we are going to tackle the master bedroom. I have not done a lot to decorate this room and I've just really been unhappy with it. I've done some decluttering in the closet but then some of those bags ended up on the floor. It's just kind of junky and just did not feel very inviting or restful so I decided to organize it and just completely change out the layout of the furniture and I am loving it you guys. It's amazing what spending absolutely no money can do when you just rearrange the layout to a more appropriate layout for your space. I am just so excited about this room. While I was moving furniture around, I used this time to kind of declutter some of the stuff that was just kind of laying around and to really vacuum around those spots where the furniture was, get all that dust cleaned up. The room felt so much cleaner, which is another thing that just really transformed it. Another thing we ended up doing was moving our TV, mounting it on the wall, and that made such a difference in the room. That TV was just this like black, just like blah thing on top of our dresser that you would see first thing when you went into the room. But now that it's mounted on the wall, it just blends in and is not so noticeable. So here is the progress in the room. It is just so much more open feeling. I absolutely love it. We got some Ikea dressers that I'm going to hack and turn into matching nightstands. I'm going to spray paint the lamps, things like that, but the layout has made such a difference and I am just loving it.
So after I cleaned up and decluttered the toys a little bit, I moved on to the other side of our garage, which is our laundry area. I swear you guys, if I just don't do laundry for a few days, this is what happens. It is just sad. So we had laundry everywhere, and then I think when you just kind of have a messy area, it just creates more mess. Like you're just like, whatever, I'll just throw this in here because it's already messy. So we had boxes from the new baby stuff. Seriously, you guys, I know you have seen me clean this area before in videos but now it is so clean and I do not want to mess it up. I've been doing laundry every single day. I've been feeling much better than I was, so I am trying to keep it nice and clean. You may notice that I'm wearing different clothes. That's because it took multiple days to clean up this area. There was that much laundry, and then when you're behind on laundry, you still have like the day-to-day -day laundry to do. So. It was just a huge mess, but we finally have it cleaned up, and every time I walk into this space, I feel so good about it. I even wiped down the washer and dryer. I just made it feel really clean and minimal, and it just lowers my anxiety every time I look at it. I love it. Now it's time to tackle the bathrooms. When I was doing some decluttering in other parts of the house, I knew I wanted to put these things in the linen closet in here, but I just never got around to it, so I'm doing that. I'm also going to declutter some of the bath toys, as well as put up a new shower curtain that we got from Walmart for like nine bucks. So just kind of get this place back in order.
So here I am just decluttering some of our bath toys. I'm sure I could declutter a little bit more, but we do have bath toys for a two-year-old and then bath toys for a 10-year-old. So they're very different types of toys, but I have my 10-year-old put away some of the toys that he doesn't really use in the bath. And then I also had him throw some things away that were just kind of moldy looking and gross. I decided to declutter our pantry. This had gotten extremely out of hand. Our pantry does not have a great organization system going on for it right now. It's just difficult because it's very narrow and deep. So we really need some kind of drawer organizers, but those are pretty expensive. So in the meantime, I just use these baskets from the dollar store and they really do work just fine when you keep up with your pantry and throw away the things that you're not using and just really make an effort to keep it organized and clean. So I got it back in order and I'm hoping to keep it this way. So that is it for today's rearranging, cleaning, decluttering, organizing. I hope you guys got a ton of motivation from this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. That really supports my channel and please be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.